Is your truck starting to get a little bit of vibration? Maybe your uh, body lines don't line up anymore, the cab's sagging to one side or something like that? More than likely what it's going to be is your cab mounts right here. Now if you take a good look at that, you can see it's really been smashed out. 1963, that's how old these are. So today, I'm at Brothers Tech Center to show you how to do these. They're not that big of a deal. My name's David Welch. I'm here every single week to show you how to work on your truck. Give me a second and we'll get this guy out of here and I'll show you how. All right, first let's take a look and see what the kit comes with. A lot of washers and a lot of bushings and stuff. First, I'm gonna concentrate on the front. You're gonna wanna get your largest bushing right here. You'll notice it's got this lip right here. That lip sits on the perch so that it won't move around. Now you're gonna get a large washer and you're gonna set that on top. You're gonna go ahead and slide it up in between the cab and the perch and set it on down. You're going to grab this uh, medium-sized bushing right here, and it's going to go underneath the perch, and then you're going to take this guy right here and put it up in. Now, I want you to notice the difference between these two. This one's a little bit taller, and because it's bigger and badder and beefier, you'd kind of think that it would go on the front. But if you notice, it sticks up a little bit. So if you were to tighten this down, it won't squish down and hold on tight enough. You need to make sure that you're using the little bit shorter one so that when you tighten it down, it'll actually squish down a little bit. So you've got this right like this. You get your big washer here on the bottom, and then you're going to take your bolt right here. The larger bolt is going to go for the front. It's going to go through the floor of the cab, right on through, through your perch right here in the middle, and then you'll simply put the bolt on the bottom, the nut on the bottom. Now this nut right here, this is a um, nylon lock, so you don't have to worry about using any lock washers on this. So that's your front. Your rear is basically the same thing. You just have this bushing right here. You got the washer, You'll go ahead and slide it up in between the cab, sit it on the perch. This one here will not have a little ridge on it, so it's sitting on there like this. Then you'll go ahead and use the little bit longer one and slide it up in there. You'll get this slightly triangulated guy, put it on the bottom. You have your smallest washer, it'll go there. And this bolt actually goes in from the bottom and then it's going to go up into the cab. Now right here in the cab there's what's known as a cage nut. It's kind of welded on there. A lot of times those rust or the cage breaks so we've already gone to the uh, point to give you one in the kit just in case you don't have to look for it. But if it's not needed don't worry about it. Don't use it. So we've got them all set up. Now we can go ahead and install them. Now this isn't necessarily a dangerous job, but of course you want to be safe. We want to make sure we're on flat ground. We've got the emergency brake. It's in park. We even got a chuck underneath the tire. So after we know we're safe, we can get a little bit of oil. We'll put them on each one of these nuts here and we'll get them all soaked up. Then I'll get somebody to hold it at the top and then I can take the bottom off. Now, obviously I cheated on this and uh, already loosened it up and everything for time interests. But you can see it comes off just as easy as that. You can push that bolt back on up there. When you're jacking it up, you're going to make sure that you're jacking it up on uh, the brace of the cab right here. I'm not sure how well that shows up or not, but you can see that there's a brace under here. And you can also put it up under here. And all you got to do is just jack it up nice and easy. Now, you only want to do one at a time. If you take them all off, then it's harder to line it all up. But I do want to loosen up all four corners so that I can get the cab to move up enough to be able to get the bushing in there. So I'll get this up and then I'll test and see if that's moving yet or not and whether I can get it out. Okay, just about there. So I'm going to go ahead and climb on top, take the bolt out of there, and then I'll be able to slide this guy out. With my bolt out, I'm going to go ahead and take my sleeve out. And then because that little lip is on there, it's still going to be a little difficult to take out. So I'll take these washers off of the top, and then everything will slide on out. Now, on this particular cab, it had two washers on here. 
And uh, so if they did that from the factory occasionally, then I'd go ahead and use two. I'd simply just get one of these, clean it all up, and then use the original on there so that I have two and I make sure that my cab is even like it was from the factory. So now, I'll go ahead and slide this all back in. I don't have time to clean this, so I'm just going to put it on there and slide it back in. This is just a nice, decent daily driver, so we don't have to get too crazy about stuff. So first I'll slide it in, then I'll put my washers on. Then I'll climb up top, and I'll drop my bolt through. So with my bolt on in there, I can assemble the bottom half. Now this is actually called a crush sleeve. And the reason they're calling it a crush sleeve is because when I put it up in here and I put the bushing on the bottom and the washer on the bottom, I don't want to tighten this down and just smash the hell out of my rubber. And that's what that sleeve is going to do. It's going to go ahead and tighten up until it hits that sleeve and then it'll stop. So don't just go ahead and torque it for crazies. I'll go ahead and lower this down just a little bit. Okay. And then I'll have somebody at the top hold it. And I'll just tighten this up until I know I'm on that crush sleeve. I'll give it just a little bit of extra push. And then we know we're all set. Now I'm not going to tighten this up all the way just yet because we've got the rest of them to do. Now being that this bolt is coming up through the cab, we're going to go ahead and have to go inside the cab to get oil on there. It'll be uh, behind your gas tank. Also, I like to use a hand tool on this because again, this is a caged nut. And if it is any good and I put a power tool on there, I'll more than likely break it. So I'm going to use a hand tool on this so I can save my caged nut if possible. Give me a second for this and I'll be right back. Okay, with this out, you can see how bad this is. Just look at these cracks. Pretty bad off. Now the sleeve came out with this, so I don't have to take it out. And I've got it on the brace right here. So I'll just jack it up a little bit and just enough to get that guy out of there. All right, nice and easy. So, washer, medium sized bushing. Slide that up on in there. Line up your hole. You've got your sleeve. It's going to go up your bottom. Smallest washer. And then your bolt. Okay, so. Let the jiggle that around a little bit, get it started. And then I'm just going to snug this guy up, and then we'll get the other guy set. Now, when you weren't watching, I went ahead and did the other side, and now we're all done. This whole entire thing, only about an hour, so it's no big deal at all. I can go ahead and tighten all of my bolts down now until I'm on my crush sleeve. Maybe I'll double check and make sure my cab's lined up before I tighten them up and that's it but you can see it's no big deal you can take care of this yourself at home you make sure you check us out on Instagram Facebook and on YouTube subscribe because I'm doing these all the time so we can get your truck back on the road we'll see you all there